Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Monkey Wrench. I'm Kelly, the monkey with the wrench. This is the third video of the day in this series on this Craftsman T210 riding mower. In the last video, we put new blades on the deck, and that was fun. And in the video before that, I showed how to remove the deck and put it back on. Now, I have to change the drive belt so what I'm going to do real quick, so that I can get to everything, is down here, Let's see if I can get you down there, that is the keeper that goes across the pulley, and I have to pull that pulley off. But the first thing I'm going to do, because I might not have to move that, they have made these where they're fairly easy change the belt some people jack them up uh, some people try to do it from underneath I don't I put a chair on the other side which is basically line up the steering wheel and let's see if we can just flip this thing up on its side to make sure that there's no fuel cut off there's very little fuel in the tank, carburetor side up, like you would on any more. Let's see if we can't flip this thing up on its side. You're not going to hurt anything. Make sure that your chair is in the right spot. Catch that steering wheel. And make sure it's strong enough to hold the mower. And now it's on its side. It's really not that heavy. Uh, I don't know, maybe if you're a smaller person, it might be, but they're not real heavy. I'm not worried about the oil going. Uh, I'm not worried about anything really leaking. It won't be up that long. See how the steering wheel's in the seat. Just to hold this off the ground so it doesn't flip completely upside down. Basically, and I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to film because it's gonna be dark soon, but I want to see if we can get some of this done. Now this was that guard keeper I was telling you about in the first video that I moved out of the way. So what I'm going to do is take this nut out, this bolt, I'm sorry, and try to take this whole pulley system off so that I can get the belt out. And I'll show you that after I get that bolt out and see if we can't get that off. All right, this is a 5 8 Let's see how easy it will come off. Of course not. That means it's going to be fun. I'll be back. Okay, I tried to show you guys how to get this stuff off with minimal tools. Again, my impact driver is not big enough to do this job. So what I did was I got a <coughs> 5 8 wrench. And I put it on there. And I created my own impact and I beat on it until it was loose enough because you can't stop this from turning this is part of the motor and you can't stop that from turning unless you have a, a ratchet wrench that'll wrap around that and hold it tight and I don't have one of those either now that it's loose you just take off that nut there we go and hopefully see that pulley just slides right out of the way comes right off it's a two-part pulley two pulley one at the top one at the bottom uh, this one is keyed there's a key inside of it and there's a space for that to go in right there if yours is not connected do not lose the key otherwise you'll put it on there and it'll just spin so that's good and greased which means it came off easily now our belt comes off now what I've done over here I can get you in there to show you I'm trying to do some of this stuff out of the way what we have is a spring here that connects here okay this is your pedal setup this is the pulley that moves and puts tension on this belt so what I did was I took this spring you're not going to be able to see it well now you can this is a clip with a Z-bend 
that just goes into the frame. Be careful. Remember where it goes, but there's a hole up there in the frame and it just fits in the hole and turns so it's like that. And then that spring goes on it. And what that does is keeps tension back here to allow this to work, okay? So I took that off. Remember where all that stuff goes. And then here, now that the belt's all loose, here, this belt goes on this pulley on the bottom. And there's a keeper on here as well. So you can just take your fingers and bend that keeper down to get that, that part of the belt off. Now you just take it, make sure you know exactly where it goes. Pull that out, and when you feed it back through, remember exactly where everything goes. Now, there's also, let me just get this out of the way, there's also the way it goes on here, there's a small keeper that I'm not going to be able to show you that you have to work out. To get off of there and in a lot of cases what ends up happening is you have to loosen this bolt there's a nut on the top side put a wrench on there loosen that and get it out of the way in order to get that belt out and that's it and once that's out of the way you get it off of the transmission on the back you'll be able to loop it right around get it off put the new one on she's got a new dog that was beaten and abused that she's taken care of at big uh, I don't even know what it is but it's a big dog and it won't shut up so I'll film again later if I can get this before dark but that's it that's how easy it is to get that belt off all right I'm gonna have to loosen this pulley and I believe it's a 9 16 on the upside remember don't take it off all the way, or it'll be a pain in the butt to get back on. But I'm gonna see. Yep, it's a 9 16. I'm on the top of that pulley on said bolt nut. If I can get it on there. Sorry, I'm kind of in your way. Alright, so we're on there. That's also a 9 16. Let's see. Loosen that up just a little so that we can feed this belt out. Like I said, this belt, there's a fan on top of the pulley on top of your transmission. It just feeds around the fan and back down onto the pulley. This should allow us enough room. Nope. All right, I'm gonna have to take it all the way off. Really? That's fine. Let me take it off more and see if I can loosen it without having to take it off because getting that nut back on is kind of a pain. If, if, if it comes off, trying to fix, trying to get that to stay on there, it's kind of a pain. So I try to leave it at least threaded. get enough room on that pulley to get past its keeper. Now it's past the keeper, now the belt's off. Now I'm going to take the belt, the new belt, and I'm going to make sure you're still in the picture. I'm going to take the new belt, put it up against the old belt, just to see how worn it might be. Uh, you know, nobody knows how old this thing is. Oh, don't tell me that. Let me back you up. The new belt is the wrong belt. I think the, the owner is the one who got these belts. This belt, anyway. And, as you can see, the new belt's much longer than the old one. I think what he did was he bought see how much longer that is 
I think he, this is the deck belt for the blades and not the drive belt. Um, shoot. Okay, well, now you know how to take the drive belt off. You put it back on the same way. I'm going to text him real quick. Uh, he kind of needs this machine first thing in the morning. And he may just have me put the old belt back on it and drive it the way it is. Which is going to suck because I still have to charge him for all this time. Uh, if he wants to wait and he can do without the machine tomorrow, I'll film the other half of this and put the belt back on it. But you just put it back on the same way you just watched me take it off. It's not difficult. Um, I hope this helped. Leave me any questions or comments down below. If this is the end of the video, hit the like button. Subscribe for me. It's free. It'll help me. Thanks for coming by. See you soon. Okay. He wants me to put the old belt on. He has lawns to cut all day tomorrow. And he cannot go without the machine. So I just wanted to show you real quickly like because he's going to be watching this too i'm sure the old belt is around the same post and stretched out completely when the new belt is stretched out you can see there's a good i don't know six or seven inches it's longer it seems to me that he probably bought the deck belt the one that goes on the blades but that's not the drive belt so we are going to put the old belt back on and he is, he purchased the belt so he's gonna have to deal with trying to return it and get another one in the meantime I'm going to see if I can't put this thing back on right quick before it gets dark sorry about the dog it's a rescue dog that was beaten and it just won't stop barking I don't think it likes men I don't think she likes men so I'm going to feed this back around the fan. I can't really show you that because there's no way to get a camera in there. But when you're doing it, you'll see how easy it is to feed it back on that fan. And then just grab the belt and work it back and forth to make sure that it's not touching the fan. It's not wrapped around a fan blade. It's not hitting anything. You should be able to move that up and down in several directions and know that it's free and clear. Now let me see if I can back you up here a little bit. Now remember we have this pulley. We loosen this pulley. Let me actually see if I can get you in there. Okay, I'm having trouble. I don't know why the camera keeps shutting off. But we fed this back through under this pulley. We've put the keeper back where it belongs. We've tightened this pulley back up. And now I can pull the belt. You can see that pulley's moving. You can see that the fan is moving. All right, and the idler pulley is moving as well. You can see that, that's all that is. Now what's left, I've taken and I've put this keeper back in it's just a z bend that comes through right there and then the spring goes from this lever back to that holder and now everything's back in place except for this front pulley so let me entertain you sorry the dog is a rescue i don't know if that part got cut the dog was beaten she doesn't like men and uh my landlord won't take her inside, so she just sits out here and yells at me the whole time. So now all we're going to do is put our main pulley back in. The small end of the pulley goes up. Let's see if I can bring you over here where you can see a little bit better. And what we're going to do is check inside here. The key has to go in the right spot there's a divot on the outside so you can see that and basically what I'm gonna do is put this belt on here hopefully now that that spring is on I have to lift that up while trying to put this pulley back in place I'm just lifting this pulley up 
once it's back where it's supposed to, now our belt is back on. It's inside of the three keepers here, here, and the one in the front that keep that belt on. We know we're free and clear here. We know our spring's back in place. We know we're around the pulley and under the fan that's on the transmission. We know we're back in this pulley correctly. We know we're back in this pulley correctly. So I should be able to turn this, hopefully show you, because it's dark and I'm about to end this video. If you watch this pulley right here, when I spin that main pulley, watch that pulley, and that will show you that the belt is going in all the spaces it's supposed to go and turning freely. You see how it's moving? No problem. Now because of the compression stroke, I'm just gonna turn it backwards. But now we know that our belt is back on where it's supposed to be. And all I gotta do now is put that bolt back in place. Which I'm gonna do now. I try to put these bolts in quite a few turns by hand before I put the impact on them so that I know that the threads have not been crossed. And now we're back on and back together. The belt, the drive belt is completely back on and back together the way it's supposed to be. The pulley's been tightened. All the rest of the pulleys and everything have been back. The spring's been put back. That's it. Now I'm going to be able to move my tools and flip this thing up and give it a test drive. That has nothing to do with the deck. The deck belt goes on the bottom part of that pulley and the deck obviously attaches to that. So I can go ahead and flip this thing back up and take it for a drive and make sure that we're in good shape. Let me zoom out here. So give me a second. Sorry about the filming. I'm going to unplug the lights just because I'm taking the hood off. The hood is off. Tools are out of the way. At least enough to worry about before it gets dark. Now I can stand this thing back up. Your PTO cable, the PTO cable is going to be hanging down. So I need to make sure that I pull that PTO cable up and hang it somewhere <coughs> because it's just long enough to get caught in the tires and then the tire will turn. You'll run over it and rip something off. So we don't want to do that. Now this thing has been upside down for a good hour while I waited and spoke to the owner. So let's just fire it up to take a second and drive it around and make sure everything's driving the way it's supposed to. Something's wrong. Let me see what it is. What was wrong was on the back axle behind the machine. There's a lever that you pull to disengage the transmission so it'll freewheel. And I had pulled it out. So let me go ahead, start it back up, and drive it around, make sure everything's good. So I can put the deck back on. <laughs>
good with the drive system again as you can see it goes very slow in reverse and that was what he did not like is that it, it barely wants to go in reverse at all now tractors of course riding mowers are not exactly made to drive in reverse basically reverse is just to get up against an object a tree whatever and then hit reverse to back up so you can turn and cut some more so reverse isn't all that important what i did notice when i was under there um and i didn't show because the sun's going down the rod that's connected to the forward and reverse pedal when you push it forward it goes very far forward when you try to push it back it's barely going back at all and what really needs to be done is i need to have it for a few hours to pull half of the back apart to check that lever and find out why it doesn't want to go all the way back uh it could be blocked with dirt that got up there in the grease uh, it, it might just need to be freed up I don't know but the problem is I don't have time we're 20 minutes away from sunset the sun's already down and he needs this thing for tomorrow so not only did I have to get the drive belt back on but I still have to put the deck back on and I'd like to get this done before dark so that's how you change the the drive belt on this particular tractor if you have any questions please leave them in the comments section I'm sorry if this video was too long and I didn't mean to have to put the old belt back on. Uh, hopefully, when he has time, he will exchange the new belt, get the proper belt, and I will have a chance to put this back on and I will make an addendum video. I won't show you again changing the belt, but I will tell you that the new belt took care of the problem or next time I have it, I'll have it for more than three hours before dark. And I'll be able to check the transmission lever to, to see why it's not going back very far. It's barely going back at all. And I think it should be going further than that. But don't have time. So thanks for stopping by. Hit the subscribe button. Helps me out. We're almost to 1,000. I appreciate it. See you soon.